BYU Radio. The first 20 minutes are complete. Marcelo over the shoulder to Loner. He will shoot that shot and make the three left side. The second half is about to begin. A hook over the head, touch pass nice. in the corner. Marcelo for three. Got it! A.B. for three. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Shout out to our guy, Ben Bagley. Not feeling the greatest. Stretch thin, doing a triple header today. Putting in that work on football and basketball. Thanks to Ben. We sent him home early. We'll take the post game from here. Go get some rest. Big fella, my homie in crime with BYU Sports Nation as the producer. Jerem Jordan and Terry Nash here. BYU up 46-29 on Central Methodist from the NAIA. Second half about to begin. And we should tell you this game is brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen has been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Alex Barcella with 16 points in the first half. Jonathan Brown with 14. So we've got a score off. I teased earlier today that uh, Fusini Traore uh, was out. He's also wearing, I don't know if they have a name for it, but a kill is when you get three consecutive stops. There is a necklace with like a spindle that gets a cougar claw in it for each each kill they get. So there's two so far. He is wearing it tonight, and he looks good. He looks good. He's got good sneaker game. <laughs> and uh, this has been a great game so far. Both teams shooting over 50% from the field. Tim Cameron drives to the lane and lays it in to get things started. Cameron did not make a shot in the first half, averaging 14 a game. He has two now, 46-31. Start of the second half here. Attack that left lane line once again. Yeah, what is it with the left side? They've been going there all night. They've attacked, and it's it's been working for them. Lucas hands off to Loner, who gets to the paint, gets stuck. Lucas over to Baxter for the dunk. He ate a whole wheel of cheese. I'm not even mad. Baxter with nine points tonight. Four of five, three dunks. BYU up 48-31, 19-15, second half. Backdoor action and uh, didn't charge. Jump stop, got Gavin the ball. It's a great finish. Isaiah May throws the ball out of bounds. It's either a foul on Barcelo or a turnover by May, and it's a turnover. 11 TOs for the Eagles of Central Methodist. That's been the difference in the game. They've got 11 turnovers again. They're shooting over 50% from the field, but BYU with only four. Yeah, plus seven there. Or good to be minus seven, I suppose. Lucas on the right wing, not looking for the shot. Waiting for Baxter to roll. Gets into the paint. Gideon George from the corner for three. No good. Jonathan Brown rips down the board. Over to Fodi Kamara. Into the corner. What a pass. Isaiah Mayer, air ball. And then Isaiah May gets the lay-in after Kamara picks up the air ball. It's tough as in defense to identify that air ball sometimes, and BYU lost it. 48-33, 18-30 left, second half. Gavin Baxter on the right block, going with the right hand. Kicks out to Gideon George. George entry pass back out to Baxter, squared up. Goes to the right hand this time, throws it up and over his shoulder, just missed it. Gets a rebound, up and over Sawulu and lays it in. Gavin Baxter with 11 points tonight. Great job by Gavin. A lot of times when bigs go follow up their shot, they're going to go over the back. He stayed straight up, gathered it, and finished it. It's a season high, 11 for Gavin Baxter. So Wulu and Baxter is going to be called for the foul. The BYU bench wanted to travel from Sawulu, but Baxter is going to pick up his second. Gavin actually went straight up in the air there. Bench wanted it. Casey Adams from Visible Supply Chain wanted it. He was up giving it help, helping the refs, <laughs> but they didn't listen. Baxter will come out with that second foul. Atiki Ali Atiki will come back in. The freshman from Tanzania, who looks like a senior. The, the dude is jacked. Inbound underneath, right of the basket. Lobbed out to the wing. Flip to the left side, reversed to Tim Cameron. 15 on the shot clock, under 18 to play. BYU up 50-33. Lohner deflects it out of bounds. Now, Caleb Lohner has not had the best offensive start to the season, but defensively and rebounding, he's still been really solid. He's been great, and this is going to be interesting. He's been sitting for a long time. Interesting to see how he comes out in the second half. Isaiah May will inbound. Now we have foul away from the ball on BYU. It's on Gideon George, his second. So two fouls on BYU, none so far on Central Methodist. 7.49 left in the game, BYU up 17, 
interesting in halftime sometimes the officials talk about what they want to emphasize in the second half and they say more whistles yeah <laughs> looks like that was the halftime discussion tim cameron for three on a fadeaway atiki ali atiki rips that one down had a hard time handling the ball a little bit in the first half no problem right there gideon george on the right side and he is fouled by isaiah may so whistles of plenty the start of this second half isaiah may's first personal Joey Basketball is brought to you in part by JCW's. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody, from burgers to wings, shakes to salad, JCW's quality and a lot of it in Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and now open in Harriman. Left side, Gideon George dribbles about 15 feet, gets stuck. Barcella straight away. Lucas right side. Lucas gets stuck again. And then tipped off of Loner and a turnover for BYU. 17-21 left. Central Methodist is gapping the ball screens here in the second half, and it uh, caught BYU a little bit off guard. They're staying out on shooters. Uh, that's how they got the back door early on. See if they go back to the back door. Jonathan Brown, right side. Doubled up for a sec, gets stuck. Alex Barcella with the steal. Throws it in to Gideon George. Four on one here. Gideon George goes the distance. Like Donny Osmond. 52-33, wow. 17 left. Just like that. You like Mulan? Yeah, just like that. Okay. Isaiah May, foul on Alex Barcelo. Mini whistles now. Barcelo's first. That's the third foul for BYU of this half. So Wulu out. Bronikowski in. And Seneca Knight will come back in. 17 points, 12 boards the last two games combined. Tijon Lucas will come out. And then Mark Pope yells at Seneca Lucas, no, you stay in. Gideon George, you come out. It's a little bit of frustration from BYU on execution points. Despite being up 19, they want to be up more. Inbound to the corner. Switched over to Jonathan Brown, other wing. Missed that. And then it's going to be a foul on Fodi Kamara, who went over the back of Caleb Lohner. Third foul on Fodi Kamara. Who doesn't like it, but it is what it is. Loner and Kamar got into a little bit afterwards, knocked the ball out of his hands, so that was what the bench was reacting to. This is a, the spiciest 19-point game we've had in a while. Still a good intensity in this one. Wow. Thrown under the Loner underneath. Catch and shoot right side for Lucas in rhythm. No good. Battle for the board. Tim Cameron races out. Jonathan Brown on the left side. Eurostep into Loner, who goes two hands to try and block it. But he gets the foul, so he picks up his third and two shots coming for the leading scorer for Central Methodist, Jonathan Brown. Tough shot there. Uh, again, corner threes with long rebounds are hard to get back in transition defense, especially when a guard's shooting it, and that's a case that happened there, and Central Methodist did a good job of pushing that ball. Now they change it to Barcelo on the foul. So that's his second. Lona remains with two. Free throw was good by Jonathan Brown. Team high 15. Game high is 16 by Barcella. That has now been tied by Jonathan Brown. 52-35, 16-25 left in the game. BYU up. Barcelo being harassed. Loose ball. Loner gets it. Back over to Barcelo. Gets into the paint. Barcelo tripped up. Tiki Ali Atiki over to Loner. Throws it up and in and one. Caleb Loner. It was messy but effective. It looks to be what... Central Methodist is trying to do is make it a little bit messy, and Loner does a great job gathering that ball and finishing it, see if he can make it a three-point play. Loner with six points to go with two rebounds in seven minutes. Like you said, hasn't played a ton. Has those two fouls, trying to complete the end one and put BYU up 20 points here, and he does. 55-35, 16-14 left. Spencer Johnson in. Let's see who comes out. This time it is Tijon Lucas. BYU up 20. Central Methodist came into the game 7-0 in the NAIA. Won Thursday night 62-61 against Columbia, who's nearby. BYU coming off one of its best wins ever. Now there is a review happening from Larry Spaulding here at courtside. While he looks at that, I should tell you, Smith's has all your fresh game day grilling and tailgating faves. And when you shop today, you can get your free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Just order from the app or at Kroger.com and make your game day great Smith's fresh for everyone. Not exactly sure what's being looked at right here off of that free throw. Perhaps something extracurricular. 
They were just checking to see who the foul was on. Make sure they got it right. Jonathan Brown identified as the man with the foul. He now has three. That's a storyline for the leading scorer on the other side. Tim Cameron. Cameron is fouled on the base. And who are they going to give this one to? Perhaps Alex Barcelo. And that is Alex Barcelo's third. So each team's leading scorer with three with 16 minutes left. All three of Alex in this half, is that correct? I think so. Three of the five fouls called on BYU in the first four minutes of the second half. Isaiah May to the rim. Batted around. Atiki Ali Atiki gobbles it up. Passed it to Barcelo with Tim Cameron all over him. And it gets tipped out of bounds by Cameron. BYU basketball. Cougars up 20. And we'll step aside. BYU up 55-35 on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. BYU Athletics would like to recognize Dick Sporting Goods for being tonight's game sponsor and thank them for being an important part of our team. Every season starts at Dick's. Now, a moment ago, I said going the distance, Donny Osmond. That's not right. It's Michael Bolton that went the distance in Hercules. I'll make a man out of you as Donny Osmond. Move yeah, on. Milan. That was, yeah, that was, was a, just a gross error. That That's was, why I said just like that. I had no hey, idea what you are talking about. Hey. You know what? We're here to get it right. You know, not be right. Let's go. BYU up 55-35, 15-51. 20 here. Eight fouls called, five on BYU, in the first four minutes of the second half. We're pacing for a finish at uh, 11 p.m. Yeah, it's really slowed this game down. The energy's a little bit gone in the arena, and it's uh, important that BYU's got to find a way to get that energy within. That feels like it's also a Disney song somewhere. Spencer Johnson, right side, screened by Atiki. Johnson back to the top of the key. Seneca Knight switches over to Lucas on the left side. Tijon Lucas, the super senior, off the glass, doesn't get the bounce. Atiki just takes it down and throws it down. Oh, that's a taste of the future. Great play there. Lucas got in there. No one came. No one came, so he finally put it off the glass. Didn't finish it, but great finish. First two points for Atiki, and it's 57-35, 15 minutes left. Ronikowski misses. Top of the key. Loner rips down the board. Knight on the right side. Mark Pope yelling at him. Go, go. Dribbles into the center. Lucas over to Loner. One on one. Now the double comes. Steps through it and curls it in and out of the basket. Camarda with the rebound. Here's Brown. Jonathan Brown has 16 points for Central Methodist out of the NAIA in Missouri. Tim Cameron will reset. 35 feet out. Going up 22, 15, 14 and a half left in the second half. Isaiah May looking for somebody. Brown defended well by Johnson, just blew that up defensively. Over to the corner. Bronikowski for three. No good. Caleb Lohner has it past midcourt. Lohner goes to the left hand. Back over to Tijon Lucas for three. No good. Front iron. Lohner chases it down. Caleb Lohner's been hustling all game, gathering up rebounds. Five rebounds for Lohner. He's everywhere right now. Johnson, left wing. Gets within eight. Hands off to Lohner. Lohner with the left hand, and he's fouled and misses. Two shots coming. Tim Cameron called for the foul. Excuse me, they're going to change that to Fodi Kamara. Check that again. Excuse me. Bronikowski, his third. Great job attacking the rim there, tracking down that offensive rebound. He's being really, really aggressive. Let's see if he can knock these down. Free throws good from Loner. BYU went 7 of 13 in the first half from 3. 0 of 3 so far in this half. 5 of 11 from the field. Central Methodist, 2 of 8 from the field. 0 of 4 from distance. 58-35. 13-56 left. In the game, BYU will play Texas Southern next Wednesday, then at Utah next week as well. Let's see if the Pac-12 thing with BYU Sports can continue. 8-0-1 in all sports this fall against that league. Second free throw is good from Lohner. As he'll check out with 10 points and 5 rebounds in 10 minutes. How about that? Playing aggressive, playing great. Make that 9 points, 5 boards. Still great. Still great. Jonathan Brown 
Dribbling, defended by Johnson, and then McGrew back, turned yeah. it over. Yeah, no, no BYU player deflected it, and a turnover. 13th of the game for the Central Methodist Eagles. He has 16 points off turnover. Central Methodist, zero. It's the difference in the game, turning them over. Again, Central Methodist is playing well, shooting the ball well in the Marriott Center. You don't see that often from a NAI school coming into the Marriott Center. Um, but BYU turning them over. 45% so far, 13 of... 29. George, Baxter, straight away looking inside for Seneca Knight, trying to isolate him. Tijon Lucas around a Baxter screen, straight away. Throws the lob, and Baxter threw it down! Oh, baby! Lucas to Baxter! Bark twice if you're in Milwaukee! Great play there, the re-screen, and everybody on the bench saw it. They went under the first, went over the second, and uh, Gavin got that alley -oop. On the baseline, Sawulu, no good. Then ripped away by Lucas, trying to get that jump ball. Whistles take a sec to come, but Fodi Kamara on the ground. Lucas always calm, cool, collected. And they're actually going to give a timeout to Central Methodist. So it took a sec to get Tijon touching the ball. He feels like it was a jump ball, but it's the first called timeout. That means a timeout for us as well. BYU up 61-35, 13.05 left in the game on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Jordan and Terry Nash with you. BYU up 61-35 on Central Methodist. 13.05 left in the second half. BYU basketball is brought to you in part by Fillmore Spencer, Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm. Can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. BYU is shooting 50% in the second half. Has it needed a three? And in the second half, Central Methodist, 2 of 9, 22%. As BYU comes off the high of that Oregon game, there was no way BYU could play the same way they did Tuesday again, regardless of opponent. So it's almost good for BYU to figure a few things out before they have Texas Southern, a perennial NCAA tournament team, come in next Wednesday. And then, of course, at Utah was a big game. Absolutely. And, and you look at it, and they're, again, shooting over 50%, and they're playing hard. Central Method just came in and made some shots, and... Uh, made it an interesting game. We say that as it was double figures most of the game. <laughs> it was singles for a couple of minutes, but now it's 61-35. So Wulu gets stuck on the wing. Over to Tim Cameron, playing with three fouls. Cameron throws it up. Johnson comes down with the rebound. Spencer Johnson over to Tijon Lucas. Kevin Baxter trying to get position. Gets the ball down low, tipped away from him. Saves it into Johnson in front of the BYU bench. Lucas over to George. George loses the handle. Good to see Ryan Smith in the house. Baxter straight away. Gideon George on the wing. Goes hard right hand. Pump fake. Up and in. Gideon George for two. He's got 11. Tim Cameron raced it up with the left hand to the left wing. Caleb Loner will come back in in a moment. McGrew. Over to Kafardo. Kamara, excuse me. Ball's loose on the ground. Are we going to see a jump ball finally? We do, and it's BYU basketball. BYU doing a great job of cutting them off in this second half. It's a huge difference in this game. First half, they were getting to the rim, or they were getting to the drift pass. Second half, they're cutting them off. Looks like it was an emphasis at halftime. BYU on an 11-0 run, the last 409. Central Methodist has hit one of its last nine shots. Johnson, right wing. In front of that BYU bench, over to Gideon George. Pump fake on the three. Caleb Lohner wants to move that ball quickly. A slip to Lohner for the two-hand slam. Great pass from Tijon Lucas. And Lohner adds to his total. He's up to 11. BYU up 30, 65, 35, 11, 40 left in the game. First half, BYU quite, got quite a few of those throwback threes. Now they're staying out on that three-pointer, and they're getting these dunks. You can't guard both things. Pick your poison, man. Isaiah May, right wing to McGrew. McGrew goes to the base, and he is fouled. And looks like he hurt his right ankle pretty good. He's holding it and in some real pain in the paint right now. And there's a timeout on the court as they attend to McGrew. BYU up 65-35, 11-29 left in the game on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Five, BYU up a 30-burger with 11-29 to go. Great to have you with us on this triple header radio Saturday. Georgia Southern. BYU football take care of business there. And then uh, by 17, and then soccer, four seed taking on one seed Virginia. 
on the Cavs' home field to get to the fourth Elite Eight in BYU women's soccer history. Congratulations to Jennifer Rockwood. They're now one game away from doing the one thing that this program hasn't done, which is go to the Final Four. That's the missing piece of Jennifer Rockwood's LinkedIn. That's it. She's amazing, and year in and year out, and she is tough. Great BYU coach. D- BYU defense has been tough, only 35 points allowed so far. As McGrew was helped off with what looked like perhaps a sprained ankle, offensive foul on Tim Cameron, and that is four fouls on him, averaging 14 a game, huge part of the offense. And we'll see with 11-18 left how much he stays on the floor. And right now, head coach Jeff Sherman will keep him out there. Great job coming over and taking the charge. And again, up 30 and they're taking the charge. It's a well-coached team. Amen to that. Great point. Loner tries to get the slip. Lucas, offensive foul. Lucas, behind the back dribble. I think they felt like he used his forearm, but I wonder if his move was so good that Cameron retreated too fast. Cameron may have had a little move there. Either that or (laughs) Coach Shork is doing something amazing in the uh, (laughs) weight room because he flew back 20 feet. Oh, man. Isaiah May, top of the key. Long two. Missed it. Loner with the board. Six rebounds for Caleb Loner. Here he racing up. Trevenell, Spencer Johnson, back to Trevenell for three. No good. Isaiah May with the rebound for Central Methodist. Ball still popping around for BYU. Four quick passes there for an open three. Jonathan Brown, that was a tough shot floating to his left. Tijon Lucas now with it. Lucas gets it back. George Loner. And that ball was definitely on the rim. Should have been goaltending. They did not call it. But Loner lays it in. 13 points. Almost made it twice, and then the third one should have <laughs> counted, but we'll take it. Yeah, all the international players with FIBA rules are like, that's cool, I don't know what you're talking about. Brown in the corner. Top of the key. May guarded by George in no man's land. What did Tim Cameron playing with those four fouls? Ten minutes left in the game. BYU up 67-35. So Wulu, nice pass from Cameron, lays it in. 67-37, under 10 to go. BYU comfortably up here, staring down the barrel at 4-0. As Ooh. Gideon George goes down hard, and he holds his left ankle. Not good. Gideon George is in the paint. He's being helped up by Caleb Lohner. And limping noticeably on that left ankle. And he's going to have to come out here. Hussini Traore not playing tonight after taking a knock on his leg, and now Gideon George will come out. Likely... His last appearance of this game as he limps towards the end of the bench from BYU. So you, number one goal of this game was win. Number two is have nobody hurt. Hopefully Gideon is okay. He is walking towards the locker room right now. Rob Raymond is taking him back. Take a look. 9.40 left of the game. BYU up 67-37 on Central Methodist. Tim Cameron loses the handle. Seneca Knight with it. Tijon Lucas up to Caleb Lohner. Spencer Johnson with the layup. What a great team play. Up the court with minimal dribbles. Touch pass by Lohner. Great finish as well. BYU playing really hard and really unselfishly. Up 30. 69-37. Shout out to Johnny Linehan. Near midcourt. That's over and back. No, it was not touched. And now they're going to call over and back. Okay. He said it it (laughs) was. The referee said it was touched, and then he changed his mind and said, no, it wasn't touched. When you touch it, it's actually over and back. And it was over and back. He was incorrect when he thought it was touched, and then he realized it somehow, and that's good. I like it when they get it right. Just do the right thing, no matter when it happens. Trevenel will inbound right in front of us. Venmo me 20 bucks, and I'll pull his jersey right now. Nope, he inbounded it too late. Seneca Knight. Looking at Nell, Loner. Gets the inside track, goes up and throws it down. That's a man's play. From Caleb Lohner on the flush, he's got 15. Interesting. They come and double Seneca, um, and then don't double Lohner. Lohner spins baseline, hammer dunk. Great play. And a foul by Hunter Erickson into the game for the first time. Hunter Erickson sporting that Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence look. Season four coming hopefully in 2022. Looks great out there. It's good for him to get in there. Again, talked about this in the pregame. There'll be some guys in getting significant minutes. Hopefully they can play within the system and prove themselves. 
Tim Cameron makes the free throw. BYU in the bonus thanks to five fouls called in the first four minutes there. Finally caught up to the Cougars. 18 fouls on BYU, five on Central Methodist as Cameron hit the first. He's got three points, averaging 14, playing with four fouls. Center cut on that second free throw. Interesting. Alex sat down early with those three quick fouls, and then as he gets later, will Coach Pope put him back in the game? So, unfortunately, he had those quick three fouls. Did finish uh, if he's done with 16 points. BYU on offense now up 71-39, eight and a half minutes to go. Loner isolated. BYU trying to just get everybody out of the way because he just dribbles in and lays it in. Caleb Loner has hit the weight room since he was an infant. He looks jacked in this one, and now he's using it to his advantage. Looks got great. 17. Yeah, great power move there, and he's been everywhere on both ends of the floor. 8-10 left in the game. BYU up 73-39. Cameron, nice move, gets to the glass, challenges Loner, goes into his body and lays it in. Cameron with six now. BYU still up. 32, the magic number from Tuesday. Hunter Erickson, Nell drives the base. Over to the corner. Spencer Johnson for three. Boom, baby. That's another Mountain America three-pointer as Johnson hits it. Great skip pass there. Uh, BYU's missed a few of those in the second half. Buried that one. Great shot. First made three for the Cougars after going 0 for 4 in the second half here. Michael Perez into the game as well as Trent Lyles. The bench for Central Methodist, 7-0 in the NAIA. Hand off to May. May goes up with the right hand and curls it in. Late in the shot clock, 76-43. May has 10. Again, second eagle and double figure. Again, attacking that left lane line, but BYU's really clamped down in the second half. They're guarding. Hunter Erickson hands off to Trevin Nell, who will pop, and he is fouled as they crash into the front row. It's going to be a foul on Isaiah May, his second, and three free throws coming after the break from Trevin Nell. BYU up 76-43, 7.03 left in the game on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. The All-State Evergreen Plainsman, Terry Nasher. I would have gone to Evergreen, but I moved from Vancouver, went to Utah. And, uh, you know, I've always thought I could have I been even better friends with Terry Nasher. But here we are. BYU up 76-43 on Central Methodist, 7:03 left in the game. Caleb Lohner, 17 points on 7 of 9 shooting, 7 rebounds. He had kind of struggled, well, not kind of. He had struggled offensively the first three games. Great to see a breakout here tonight. Absolutely. You would have gone to Mountain View, but Caleb has been great. <laughs> and all over the floor, both ends. And then offensively, he's really attacking the rim. And uh, he's actually made some great passes on the offensive side as well. Mark Pope coming over and staring at Terrence saying, What's up, baby? So a couple of free throws. Three, in fact, coming up for Trevin Nell as he was fouled before the break. Trevin Nell got married to... Tatum in the offseason. It's one of the tallest receptions I've ever been to. He misses the first free throw. Was two for two. The 100% streak is over. By the way, Alex Barcelo did not shoot a free throw tonight. He's sitting at 38 in a row as Trevor Nell makes the second. Third most in BYU history. Jim Fredette's second at 39. And Tyler Hawes is first at 50. Now, I abandoned Tyler tonight to come hang out with you. Don't tell Tyler, but this is pretty fun. I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> it. I wasn't sure. I, I heard you were supposed to be on the radio, but uh, first thing I asked, where's Ty? What's going on with that? Yeah. Yeah. No, we're good. We'll be back next Wednesday with Texas Southern. No no worries on BYU TV. But great to be with you here on uh, the radio here on Saturday night, part of a triple header. Jonathan Brown. And a foul on Trevin Nell is Jackson Andrews. Drew it. Trevin Nell's second. And to the line for... Front end of a one and one, 19 fouls. Next foul, double bonus for Central Methodist, the ninth winningest NAIA program in hoops. Just outside of Columbia, that one bounces on the back iron. And they're going to call uh, a foul on BYU on Spencer Johnson. Looked like it caught BYU off guard a little bit with the one and one. Yeah, Spencer then, Johnson uh, got the foul call. Yeah, as the ball is bouncing off the. So rim. now. It's two shots because the double bonus, like we were talking about. Charlie Bronikowski misses the front end. No relation to Shemek Karnowski, who is the largest human I've ever seen in person from Gonzaga. 
Ronikowski nails it. 78-44. Have you seen someone bigger than Shemek Karnowski in person? Shaq's pretty big. Mm, okay. I've never hung out with Shaq. He's exactly like he is on NBA that's TNT. A, that's awesome. Inside, Inside the Loner. the NBA. Yes. Loner gets it stripped and taken away. Tim Cameron on the right side, defended by Hunter Erickson. Jonathan Brown, deep three from Barcelona range. No good. Hunter Erickson behind the back dribble. Lost for a sec. Seneca Knight, right side, 6.15 left. BYU up 78-44. Johnson, left-handed dribble. Nearly hit the ref in the face. Seneca Knight for three. The hand in his face, missed it. Racing out of bounds, Trevin Nell tries to get it. Who's it out off of? It's off of Trevin Nell. Central Methodist basketball. BYU bench encouraging him. Alex Barcelo, likely done for the night, 16 points. BYU has five players in double figures. Johnson, Loner, George, Barcelo, and Baxter. Season highs for Loner and Baxter. May to the right side, Tim Cameron. Find the back dribble. Guarded by Johnson. Tough defense. Cameron still made it. Eight points for Tim Cameron, averaging 14 a game. A couple of spectacular baskets for Cameron here in the second half. Now looking inside to Loner. Loner, the focus of the offense here. Spencer Johnson, catch on the left side. Missed the three. Loner chasing after the rebound. Hustling. Still up 32 and going after it. Jonathan Brown all the way to the rim and in. 30-point game now. 5.28 left as Brown is up to 18 points right on his average. Interesting BYU in their pistol action. Last two possessions have been uncharacteristically quick three-point shots. We'll see if they move it on this possession. Loner. Inside to Nell, takes a bump, goes off the glass and in. Trevin Nell then gives the two small sign. Seven points for Trevin. BYU up 80-48, five minutes left in the game. Got to the third side on that possession. Uh, great look down low for Trevin. Trey Stewart's going to come in. And then a blocking foul on Caleb Lohner, but BYU wanted to travel on Jonathan Brown, and it'll be two shots and double bonus for Central Methodist Eagles' leading score. the score. Correction. Free throw's good. 80-49. BYU just hit 80-plus points. Jujie Mikes is giving out 50 free subs. Text sub above to 61090. That's sub above to 61090 for your chance to win a free regular sub from Jersey Mikes. Second free throw's good from Brown. 80-50. to Just nice and round like that. 450 left in the game. Hunter Erickson. Over to Spencer Johnson. Trey Stewart in now. Loner. Started by Bronikowski. Johnson. Pump fake. Loner. Rolling. Over to the left side. Trevin Nell. Fakes. Looking for Loner on the roll again. Inside to Loner. Takes a bounce. One handed. Up and in. Caleb Loner. 19 points now for the sophomore. Great job by BYU again. Moving that ball side to side and then attacking the rim off those ball screens. Cameron. Pulls from deep, called a two-pointer. Tim Cameron has turned it on here in the second half, 10 points for him. 82-52, 4-10 left. A wow from Hunter Erickson on the dribble, and the three-pointer from Trevin Nell. That's another Mountain America three-pointer. And Nell heating up. He is the sixth Cougar into double figures with 10. Great play there by Erickson behind the back dribble as they reached and then found... Found him for the three. 85 52, 345 left in the game. Brown slips. And Trey Stewart kind of lands on him a little bit. We're going to call a foul on Stewart. So free throw is coming for Jonathan Brown. With 344 left. Cougars up 85 52. Six players in double figures. Trevanel, the latest to do it on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Seeds and Jerem Jordan. With Terry Nash as well, BYU up 85-52, 344 left in this one over Central Methodist. Caleb Lohner checks out of the game. He'll finish with a career-high tying 19 points. Gavin Baxter, a season-high 13 points. His career-high is 25 against LMU, where he was literally making multiple threes in that game. It was insane. And now we have Nate Hansen, Hunter Erickson, Trey Stewart, Trevin Nell, and Atiki Ali Atiki on the court. So good to see the gold squad out here. For a couple of free throws for Jonathan Brown and Central Methodist. We're going to drop their first game of the season. 
So he's starting 7-0. Free throw's good from Brown. Game high, 21 points. 7 of 7 from the line. BYU preparing for Texas Southern after this one next Wednesday. And then Utah on the road next Saturday. BYU football at USC at about the same time, only an hour difference. We've got some Elite Eight soccer coming up next week as well, perhaps on campus on Friday. We'll see. 85-54, three and a half minutes left in the game. Trevin Nell pulls a deep three. No good. Tiki, at, a tiki Ali a tiki rips it down and lays it in. Very patient offensive rebound, puts it in. He's played really well tonight. Under control, poised, and finishing at the rim. Trey Stewart with the steal. Stewart crosses over his man, gets up, and then it's blocked by Brown at the rim. He went hard, and Brown got the scrape. Three minutes left. He's still up 33. He came out of nowhere to block that. Almost like Gideon George against San Diego State. That was one of the blocks of the year. Almost, yes. That was an amazing play. <laughs> Jonathan Brown inside the stretch wide midcourt. Going to go one-on-one with Trey Stewart. Up and in. Tough shot. Good defense and a tough cover. He got BYU's uh, you know, end of the bench up here against the top scorer. For Central Methodist, averaging 18 a game. Trey Stewart made him work for that one. 87-56, two and a half left. Steal by Bronikowski. Erickson went back door. They just got their hand on it, deflected it. 220 left. Brown. Bronikowski gets the trickle in for the three. 87-59. Cougars up comfortably. Central Methodist has made its last five shots. Timeout BYU. And it's just to get in Casey Brown. And Trevin Nell will come out. Tiki Ali Atiki getting four points tonight, matching his jersey number, his first baskets as a Cougar. Extremely bright future for him. And again, no Richard Harward until further notice. No Fusini Treore tonight. We'll see if he plays next Wednesday. But uh, some development happening with some of the O's younger guys due to the opportunity with no Richard Harward. They've really stepped up. Erickson to the rim, lays it off the glass for the basket. Erickson only scored three points all of last year. Lays in two right there, 89-59. He had a great powder league summer in the kind of the pro-am there. Had 30-plus in one of those games. Stripped by Nate Hansen. Trey Stewart comes up with it. Hansen. Erickson wanted an alley-oop there. Casey Brown is fouled by Blake Fowler. No relation to Blaine that we know of. With a buck 40 left, BYU comfortably up 30. Free throws coming for Casey Brown, looking to score for the first time in his BYU career. 6-1 guard from Linden. Went on a mission to Bolivia, reassigned to San Jose. He says he can juggle and solve a Rubik's Cube. Missed the free throw. Trey Stewart with the rebound. Nate Hansen with the pull. Hansen, the former Tempview T-Bird, one of three on this team, scores his first basket as a Cougar. And BYU is up 92-59. Great pass off the offensive rebound, and he just stuck it. Fowler for two, a long two. 92-61, 120 left in the game. Hunter Erickson running the point. As BYU is going to get to 4-0 for the first time in the Mark Pope era. Three-pointer is good. Casey Brown from distance. So the gold squad coming in, and uh, they're looking pretty golden. 95-61. That's a tough shot, too. Missed the free throw, but buried that three. Cold, sitting on the bench all game. I I know that (laughs) feeling. I know that feeling. 47 seconds left. The the Rock, which is full, by the way, wants 100. Tiki Ali Tiki lays it in. They will have a shot at it, perhaps. We'll see. You're likely going to dribble it out here, but 97-61, 36 seconds left in the game. Fury up on Central Methodist. Inside, Casey Brown knocks it away. Brandon Koch. Mike Perez will come in. Tim Cameron will come out. Cameron had a nice second half. Ten points total in this one. 32.8 left. BYU up 97-61. You mentioned the rock is full. This place is full all like, the way up to the top. Like, amazingly. Yeah. I, I, think, yeah. I think celebrating, of course they love men's hoops, but celebrating the Oregon win. Yeah, absolutely. No matter who the opponent was, they were going to show up, which is great. Great crowd here tonight. 
hope that continues. You get in the top 20, top 25, and everybody's going to be excited. 20 on the shot clock, 31.7 left, so BYU have conceivably enough time to dribble it out. Rock's going to want another shot. We'll see. Stolen by Hunter Erickson, almost. Fowler. BYU playing some harassing defense, and then a foul called. Kickball. Excuse me, a kick. And so uh, 20 resets, some murmuring because the fans want 100. It's 97-61. Fowler over to Perez. Guarded by Atiki Ali Atiki. Everyone just matched up, mixed up. And a charge. BYU's got the ball with 16 seconds left. Trey Stewart drawing the charge. His dad, Ray, women's basketball assistant coach, said, man, these doubleheaders are killing me. At a game at two, the women won handily over Boise State. And now BYU's got a possession here. 16 seconds left. And Trace, the Rock wants 100. Yeah, Trace played well. And BYU's going to dribble it out. The Rock wants BYU to shoot it. They are not going to do it like Kalani's talking. The football team who kneeled it inside the 10. Final score, BYU 97, Central Methodist 61. The Cougars are 4-0 for the first time in the Pope era. And we'll recap it on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.